Welcome to my channel. If you're new on my channel and you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe button. Love what you see. Tap the bell for automatic notifications on new video posts. I took the liberty to link the products I used in the video and list them in the description box with links to some inexpensive vendors that sell the products on Amazon. Be sure to check those out for your added convenience. In this video, I'll be reviewing Carol's Daughter Sulfate Free Black Vanilla Shampoo and Leave-In Conditioner. Let's get started. I'm shampooing my hair with Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Sulfate Free Shampoo. And I'm going in now with the Leave-In Conditioner. Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla. Making sure I get all in my roots. And I saturate my hair very well with the product. This is a leave-in, so first let me show you what my hair looks like. And there's a close-up shot of my hair with the leave-in conditioner. Now let me grab a plastic cap. I'm going to put that on to seal in the moisture. <clears throat> okay, so let's talk a little bit about what I just did. I went and purchased um, Carol's Daughter. Can you see that? This is the uh, Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner and Sulfate-Free Shampoo. So I just finished washing my hair and I put those products on and I just wanna show you what my hair looks like and talk about what's going on with it right now. So let me kinda of zoom in a bit so you can see my hair, yes honey. First of all, it smells really good. Two thumbs up. I love the smell of the black vanilla. Um, right, me right now, my hair is still wet. Um, I put the shampoo in first. And it really did a good job of stripping my hair of the oils that I had in it and it, it smelled good in the process. So I'm really happy with the black vanilla uh, shampoo, the sulfate free shampoo. Really has a good scent. So I love shampoos with good, uh, great scents. So this is my hair um, when, after I leave, after I did the leave-in. So I, after I shampooed, I put the black vanilla leave-in conditioner it says here it's supposed to replenish the moisture, improve manageability, and add shine. So immediately when I first added the the black vanilla leave-in conditioner, um, it immediately it didn't really feel like my hair was moisturized. Uh, it was it was wet and it felt kind of stiff. So like it still feels, it's kind of had time to penetrate. So I left it in now for probably about, mm, I want to say like 30 minutes now. So I gave it some time to kind of see how it would take to my hair. So it, it feels moisturized, it feels wet still. But it doesn't necessarily feel like I have any oils in my hair. So I guess that's what I was kind of hoping for. Um, with that, it says it has aloe, provitamin, B5, and wheat protein. So, um, yeah, I think I might, instead of doing the leave-in conditioner, next time I might go for uh, the hydrating conditioner. There's another one that the Black Vanilla line has. So, let's talk about why I chose the Black Vanilla line um, on the packet or on the not the package on the bottle it says for dry and dull for dry dull and brittle hair 
so my hair is usually really dry um just recently i've been trying this oily spritz and it's really been helping me define my curl pattern you guys so check out my curl pattern after washing my hair um, my hair is not usually this defined so my concoction is working <laughs> So anyway, I tried the black vanilla to address my dry, dull, brittle hair. Um, it has aloe, which is a plus for me. I even like bought, bought my own aloe plant. I am such a believer in aloe. So I thought that that would add to it. It has sweet clover and rose, and I thought it would work pretty good. The shampoo is awesome, but like I said again, I'm going to try something different besides the leave-in conditioner next time to see if my hair would feel a little more um, oily. This is I'm Vanessa McClam and I just wanted to talk again some more about the black vanilla uh, review that I just did. I just shampooed my hair and added in the leave-in conditioner So I just want to talk about that um, I just realized You know the on the product it says uh, Let me just get it because I have it with me On the product it says to replenish moisture improve improve the manageability and add shine so um, I just want to kind of show you my hair so I don't know I think it's a it feels it still feels a little dry so I don't really know about the replenishing moisture part um, adding shine yes it is shiny so um, and then the third thing was improves manageability so it is really soft it still feels soft even though I went in and shampooed and stripped the oils out of my hair um, one thing I guess I was hoping for was that it would add you know a little bit more life back into my hair um, and I think I was expecting something different I'm I was probably expecting you know how it feels when you add your oily um your oil concoction to it like i have a usually i put in after my um shampoo i'll put in some oils to help with my hair the shine and just the texture the way it feels when you add certain essential oils to your hair just really makes your hair pop and i think that's kind of what i was expecting with this product but it's not really what you get so I just kind of wanted to add that in to the review um, after I've been driving around just a bit in the Texas heat. It is now 10 o'clock and it's like 88 degrees outside. So it could get up to like 100 degrees here in the summertime. So anyways, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update and you know show you what's going on with my hair now. It's a little drier. Then before still a little moisture in from um, with uh, my hair still wet and it's not totally dried out so maybe the product helps with that um, but again it's not the leave-in conditioner is not a substitute for the oils that you're gonna put in your hair so definitely be mindful of that okay so we are back to the drawing board. <laughs> the black vanilla leave-in conditioner was not conditioning at all. So right now, um, what I'm doing now is a deep conditioner that is helping with my um, moisture retention, putting all of those um, moisturizing um, products back into my hair the moisturizing properties back into my hair so um, this is all natural and just show you what it looks like you 
can see my hair. So we are moisturizing my strands now. Um, like I was saying, the black vanilla, the shampoo was great because it really did a good job of stripping my hair of all the oils that I had in it. Um, that's what shampoos do. They, they take out um, all of the oils and prevent any type of buildup. So the job of the shampoo is to strip your hair of all of that. So now with the conditioner, this is more like a deep conditioner, which is what I was looking for. The leave-in conditioner just did not suffice. So I'm going in now and deep conditioning my hair uh, with natural, all natural ingredients. Um, and you know, if this works out, I will definitely be able to shed a light on some of those um, ingredients for you guys to kind of help you through this process. So I just kind of wanted to give you an update um, after driving around in the car for a few, my hair um, was no longer soft. It was more, it, it became more hard as it dried up with the leave-in conditioner. So um, it wasn't what, what I was looking for. Um, so here we are now trying to reverse um, that and put oil back into my hair. I just washed my hair out. I added in a deep conditioner already, all natural deep conditioner. Yes, honey. And <laughs> I am now um, trying to detangle my hair because it's already in my Define Curl pattern. So I'm trying to comb that out now by using um, Auntie Jackie's In Control. So this is me detangling that. You can see how thick my hair is with uh, the denim brush. Okay, so I'm going to continue to detangle with this and see you in a few. And we're forming the curl. And we'll show you how that is done to form the curl. There's the curl pattern. And of course, we're gonna lock that curl pattern in place. Remember when you're using your product to saturate, go north, east, south, and west with your fingers. And there's the curl pattern. After saturating my hair, I added Afro G's Moisture Rich Leave-In for an added moisture. And then I sealed my curls with Paul Mitchell's Round Trip. So this is a texture shot of what my hair looked like immediately after. My curls are pretty much well-defined. There's no more dandruff, so I am happy, yes. That is my review on the Black Vanilla Carol's Daughter um, line, the leave-in conditioner and the sulfate free shampoo. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys can learn from this. And you guys, if you try it out, let me know what kind of results you get. Comment below. <laughs> You know, all our hair types is different. If you check out my hair porosity video, what uh, works for me may not work for you. So just, you know, be mindful of that. My hair is low porosity. And um, low porosity chicks just means it absorbs uh, much slower, at a much slower rate, as opposed to normal porosity and high porosity. 
so um you know i chose this i'm actually trying to figure out what products work best with my hair type because i don't want to keep buying all these products <laughs> i need something that's going to work and something i can stick to i need to find my staple products so join me in this journey <laughs> but anyways so thank you so much for tuning in to this review and like comment subscribe below if you are new to my channel please go ahead and subscribe if you like what's going on tune in um, we have hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, and different upcoming um, beauty reviews. I'll be giving different reviews on different products um, that I've come across. So stay tuned and thank you for tuning in, beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Stay tuned for part two. I'll be giving further reflections on my curl defining process and video updates on how my hair is feeling and progressing throughout the week. Want to see what's going on in my world on a daily basis? Follow me on Instagram at I am Vanessa McClam, no spaces, all one word, to get a glimpse of my life outside of YouTube and for more hair and beauty ideas. For business related inquiries, you can email me at I am Vanessa McClam at gmail.com. I'm always looking for new products to review and small businesses to expose. Have an awesome day and thanks again for tuning in.